Good morning, everyone. How are you doing today? <laughs> Hi there. Uh, let's get rid of this stupid little notification. All right. How's everyone doing today? Doing all right? Good. I'm a little groggy. <laughs> I slept like a rock once I finally made it to sleep. Ugh. As many of you know, I mean, those of you that know me know that I have insomnia really bad. Some days I get as little <clears throat> as no sleep. I have usually average two to three hours a night unaided. So I use, I use medical cannabis to help me get to sleep. And I have been, well, up until just recently, I've been unable to find a kind that actually gets me to sleep. I mean, I get stuff that just, you know, mellows me out, relaxes my entire, relaxes me from head to foot, but nothing actually puts me to sleep. You know, I'll be completely relaxed, but my insomnia keeps me awake. So, I found a, com uh, basically it's a combination. <laughs> it's a combination of flour and wax. Cannabis wax, of course. I'm not like smoking candles. Um, that basically puts me under pr fairly quickly. I mean, it takes probably about a good hour. I mean, most of you, I mean, I know there's some people that, out there that can fall asleep as soon as your head 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 hits the pillow and I'm jealous. I'll go ahead and hit the play button. But for me to get to sleep like say in, in an hour's time, that's <laughs> that's borderline miracle right there. <clears throat> so the only thing is I haven't I'm still trying to work out the I guess you could say the dosage because obviously too little isn't going to get me anywhere it'll relax me but I won't sleep too much and <laughs> I found that out on day two of using wax I get you know I get the uh, the cannabis shakes so I was as I uh, put like a looking like I have cerebral palsy. And of course, that's no insult or meant in a negative way to anybody that has it. I'm just saying that if somebody saw me that did not know me, they would think that that's what I had because that's what my arms were doing. Can't you see I'm busy? Yes, I can see you're busy, but you're not busy. You're just walking. You'll be busy in a couple of seconds. There you go. Now you're busy. Okay. So... Uh... Oh, okay. I was trying to remember what we were doing. <laughs> but anyways, I'm still getting... Uh, my dosage is still a little bit too much. Just, um, I mean, it's able to get me to sleep, but it takes me a while to fully wake up. I mean, I still, I mean, my body feels, still feels tired after sleeping as much as I did. Where is... But anyways, enough of that. It's ESO time. I like these. These are their kind of like, well, torches or braziers that they use. I mean, they've got, you can see there's braziers and stuff here and there. Well, there's that one for the shrine, but they're all blue as far as I know. But that's cool. <sighs> call this place Tumor Town. That is just so gross. I can understand elves wanting to live around, under, in mushrooms, but when they've got all these tumors, why would you? I mean, it's just disgusting looking. <clears throat> I was going to say, I'm not here to judge, but apparently I am. <laughs> All right, so we are going to deliver the writ to Erevin Anthem. I I need to look at the uh, journal because I don't remember what the heck it is. <laughs> Two Argonian slaves named Eoki and Sun and Shadow. Right, right, right. Uh... 
Oh, okay, 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 okay. I, I didn't recognize the name that we were delivering it to. It must be somebody on the council. Because I was going to say, that doesn't sound like our uh, Argonian. And I knew that wasn't the name of the person that I was supposed to go see on our Argonian friend's behalf. So. I got confused, peoples. No, you don't. <laughs> I was quick enough. Ooh. He's like, are you sure? Not really. And a Khajiit. <laughs> I have noticed that, that the hireling, or hireling, I got the word hireling stuck in my head. My skeletal mage, it get, it's randomized, but it's of all the races. You won't, you can't tell the elves from the, from the regular quote unquote humanoids, like, you know, the Bretons and the Nords and the Imperials. Because they pretty much all have the same, you know, the same body structure. But uh, the um, Argonians and the Khajiit, you can tell apart. Oh, that just... Aw, it's a birdie. It's a pretty... Where'd you go? Don't run off. Or fly off. Aw. That's a pretty bird. Anyways, where are we headed? Way up there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm going back to the way shrine that we were at just at. Where'd it go? It said I was right by one. Okay, not that close. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't know it was way the heck up there. So, um, well, shoot. Um, that Southern Way Shrine is still the closest. Well, you know what? Mm, this is quicker. And I can afford it. Hmm. <clears throat> Well, if I keep if um, this ends up being a real long stream like usual, um, eventually um, Mary will join us. Here we go. Um, deliver the writ. See, look at this. It's so gross. It's so gross. Look at that. What do you want? I just ran past you, dummy. Nothing, apparently. But, I mean, elves are so... I mean, when you think of typically of, of elves, which is probably like high elves, um, you think of, like, elegance and things being pristine, you know? I mean, every, I mean everybody wants to be an elf. There's, you know, not just the pointed ears, you know? You know, they live in nature. Everything is so beautiful. And then there's you, th that. I mean, and look at that. All that is just, that's tumors. I mean, why would you, you let it get to that? I mean, there are mages out here. You know darn well there are. What would, I mean, what would stop someone from... You know, I mean, at the very least, just cut, chopping through this. Or just hitting it with lightning or flame. I mean, this is a freaking stone structure. It's not going to go anywhere. Blech. I would love to live in a, you know, inside a mushroom house or something like that. But not if it's, you know, tumor central. All right, so now we get to go... Wait, now I'm trying to remember if I've been in here before. And it really wouldn't matter because... Okay, it's stealing, so it doesn't matter. Let's look for... Let's quickly look for bookcases. Wait, was that moving? No, just my imagination. Whew. Let's see what's over here. Stuff to steal. Well, I'm not playing her as a thief. I mean, I will eventually get all do all the um what do you want to call it um the guilds you know um their storylines you know thieves guild um man 
uh, the assassins. I'm drawing a... Why am I drawing a blank? But you know who I'm talking about. I cannot believe my brain is just like frying. It's because I'm not completely awake. But anyways, you know, um, we'll be doing those because, I mean, the you get free... You get, well, you get skill points at the end of each chapter. So, Dark Brotherhood. That's who I was talking about. I'm sure you all knew that. But yeah, I mean, even if I don't play her as a thief or play her as an assassin, I mean, I'll do so just for the storyline, just so that we complete it and get skill points. I mean, after that, we don't have to take jobs if we don't want to, because after you've completely completed the storyline, the only way to get jobs, I believe, are to go to the guilds and find the person or place where you would pick up your dailies. So there's that. Um, okay. Let's talk to Erevin Anthem. Do you need something? I'm rather busy at the moment. At least he's polite for the moment. <laughs> I have a writ from Magister Therana. Oh, let me see that. Submit to council. Argonian slave freed services to House Telvani. Well, well. I've always known Sun and Shadow to be ambitious, but this is quite the master stroke. I shall take this to the council and send for her. Excellent. Feel free to wait in the council chamber. We will rule on this matter soon. One other thing. Some of my personal correspondence went missing recently. If that ever happens again, the Mora Tong will hear of it. I trust we understand each other. I think we do. Farewell. He knew it was us. To the council. <clears throat> but you see, he did make a big stink out of it. Just because, um, like, I mean, I don't remember exactly what we, when we were talking to Sun and Shadow, but she was talking about how um, dark elves are. You know, intellect, you know, in doing intellectual type stuff and bargaining. And that's why he wasn't pissed, because it did something that impressed him. But he did warn us, you know, that was kind of like, you know, all right, you did it for this. It was very well done, very well played out. It's very intriguing. Just don't do it again. So, I mean... That part, that's part of the Dark Elves that I really like. Um, it, I don't know what you want to call that. You know, I don't want to call it their sense of fair play because you know dang well that, that ain't it. I don't know. They're, I don't know what you want to call it. It's not sense of structure. That's not what I mean, but I don't know. But you know what I mean. Now, if Mary was here, she would be, ah, oh, speaking of Mary. <laughs> Hi, Mary. <laughs> I was just going to say, yeah, if Mary was here, I'm sure she would just pop up and tell me exactly what I'm talking about. You're here really early, Mary. I wasn't expecting you for at least two, two and a half hours. And you're just having lunch. Well, enjoy your lunch. And, well, we're just going along. Oh, I've got some kind of message. Let's see. This will be just a moment, folks. I know you're probably thinking, couldn't you just do that later? I'm one of those people that I feel that if I don't answer fairly quickly, I'm being rude. So, you know, I like to answer my messages as quickly as I can. Now, if I had like 40 or 50, I'd be like, eh, 
you know, <laughs> pick out the top three people, go from there. Oh, there she is. How about that? Just stand right next to her and didn't even know it. So, let's see. Talk to Sun and Shadow in the audience chamber. Oh, yeah, I didn't... <laughs> I didn't even realize this is the audience chamber, so just to be on the safe side, make sure. Well, nothing up. There's bookshelves. I'm going to the bookshelves. Whoops. <clears throat> I forgot that first book. But I'm getting better at remembering to go page by page. So you're not going to spew crumbs into Discord? Well, yeah, that's a good thing. Because we don't have a maid in Discord yet. Or a janitor. Or anything like that. Goodness. Ah, here we go. Here's some more. And by some, I mean two. Hags, harpies, and hag ravens. Okay. I can't remember. Have we seen hags in this game? We've seen harpies and hag ravens. I can't remember if we've seen hags or not. Hmm. I don't think so. Maybe in Skyrim. Maybe. And if so, maybe like once or twice. But I don't think so. Um, I don't know, Mary. I mean, the the book just said hags, uh, you know, whatever it said. Hags, hag ravens, and bears, oh my, I don't remember. Um, I haven't seen hags. Um, I thought maybe there were, <clears throat> I don't know if you were, um, I don't know if you remember, because I know we've, we've played, we've played, uh, Skyrim at the same time before. Um, Remember that that quest? Um, she was a a witch, I believe. And we, ha I mean, we went into like a a tower, and she was part of a coven, and I believe it was led by her mother. And for some reason, she was kind of like the good witch, and she didn't want to, you know, her mother was taking things way too far, and the rest of the coven were taking things too far, and she didn't want any part of it. So we had to fight our way up, and then we ended up outside in this little area, and we had to fight. It was either her mother or her matron, and we had had to uh, kill her, and then the other one just went on her merry way. No pun intended. Yeah, you vaguely remember. That's where I think, because I I could be wrong, but I think that girl's mother or matron was might have been referred to as a hag. But I could be wrong. You know, kind of like say if her name was. Sun and Shadow. It would say, like, Hag, Sun and Shadow, or something like that. I could could be wrong, but for some reason, that's where I'm wanting to lean. But, I don't know. Oh, anyways, let's talk to Sun and Shadow now. I can imagine this moment since I was a hatchling. I knew I'd be free eventually, but now that the moon is here, I just hope I don't dare to face it. <clears throat> what will the council do? I'll even get my own quarters. Can you imagine that? Not only my own room, a whole house to myself. My heart is racing. If you're a hireling, will you be able to leave? I thought you were headed to Black Marsh. Yes, of course. I mean, eventually. We can talk about that later. Just let me bask in this moment, all right? As you wish. Truly, I couldn't have done this without you mm -hmm. and the Oki. A plan is only as useful as the people who carry it out. You have my deepest thanks, Sarah. Now, I suppose it's time. Right, yeah, she... I, I've always liked, you know, the way her character is. I mean, even though you can see she's in tatters <clears throat> and everything, they just... I don't know. They... For... I mean, she just seems so sweet. Like somebody you'd want to come and talk to and comfort or just be friends with. She just, she has that disposition and the way they make her look. I mean, her eyes, her voice. I mean, everything is just very, very, you know, done very well. 
So, you know, you know makes you compelled to want to help her. All right, let's see what's going to happen. I bring tidings from my august patron, Magister Therana. She would have your masters know that this slave, Sun in Shadow, has earned her favor. What? Magister Therana would lend her good name to this... thing? Preposterous. Larsa, don't be as tiresome as your master. Uh, can we move this along, please? Very well. Magister Therana, by right of rank, demands that the slave girl, Sun in Shadow, be freed from her bonds and raised up to a hireling of the great house Telvani. She belongs to Magister Otheri, does she not? Indeed. My most beneficent patron, Magister Otheri, acquiesces to Magister Therana's demands. He is confident that Therana will remember this kindness in the future. Sun and Shadow, you are hereby freed and lifted up to the rank of hireling. My most majestic patron, Magister Gothrin, warns you all. Lift up one of these beasts, and a thousand more will follow. This is folly. If there's nothing else, I have urgent business in Telmora. You've done well, girl. Do come by in a day or so. I may have some work for you. I was waiting for that to happen. <laughs> I knew we were going to have to talk to her again because this quest line is not over. <clears throat> a hireling. Can you believe it? Much of a title, I know, but I've spent a lifetime earning it. What will you do next? I'll burn these rats, polish my skills, and work even harder. The next few days are critical. I can't afford any slip-ups. Magisters circle new hirelings like cliff racers. If they see any sign of weakness, they swoop in and pick the bones clean. Now, <clears throat> before I make that comment, see, that's something that worried me. Of course, you know, it could go either way. Um, yeah, I, I understood, Mary, what you're talking about, being closer. The only reason why I had mine so far away is because we were in a big area and there were people placed here, 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 here. I wanted to be able to swoop my camera to be able to zero in on who was talking quicker that way. It's the only reason why I did it. Because if you noticed, when that one uh, came down to speak and to free Sun and Shadow, I raced right up there to see what they were, what they were saying. But that's the only reason why I was back so far. Um, but like I was saying about Sun and Shadow here, the one thing that kind of had me a little bit worried was when you asked her, what's she going to do now? The first thing she says is, I'll burn these rags. A lot of people, when they go from the bottom and they succeed, something like that, most people would keep it. Like put it in, I mean, they wouldn't like display it or anything, but they would keep their clothes, you know, and put them in a container, maybe put them in a chest somewhere as a reminder of where they came from. So when she, so when she, you know, the first thing she wanted to do was burn those rags, it made me a little bit apprehensive. But that's what some people do. They say, well, this is my, the new me, my new life, I'm getting rid of the past, so I'll burn these rags because that's not me anymore. <clears throat> There's that side as well. But I prefer the part of, of keeping something you know, like one item of your old life to remind you of where you came from. That's just me. All right. Um, what about Ioki? Can you free him now? Not yet. No. Like I said, even the smallest mistake could spell disaster. It's still too early. I can't say more. Not here, anyway. Too many listening ears. Meet me in my new quarters, all right? I have a plan that might speed things along. I'll come by when I can. Okay, so now we have to go and talk to her in her private chambers. And I do... Are we going up? Nope, we're going down. That's what I thought. Okay. Do, do, do. I love those portals. Alright. Out to Sadrith Mora. 
let's see. Um, well, I don't have subtitles on because of the dialogue usually in the quests. So I think, I don't know if they would work or they would overlap. Hey. Ah! I didn't get a little brink <laughs> to know somebody joined the Discord. <laughs> just, mi just minding my business and then boom! <laughs> How's it going, Mary? Uh, I'm so glad I'm off work. <laughs> Goodness. You did have an early day, didn't you? Yeah. It's, it's what, like 20 after 2 your time, roughly? Yep. Okay. Yes. Very Ugh. nice early afternoon. Yeah. I will be kind of glad when I'm done this area, because I, I, I love and hate, hate these buildings in Sadrith Mora. Yeah. Mm. They're not the the most aesthetically yeah, the aesthetically pleasing. <clears throat> I still I mean, I know there's I'm I know we um address the tumors in one quest. Um I don't even know <laughs> I'm talking and I don't even know where the hell I'm going. <laughs> um but I just don't understand why they would let it get that bad. Lazy. They've got to be. Because I'm just looking at some of this and it's just like it's out of hand. It's out of control. I mean, if, if, if I lived out here, the first time I saw something sticking out that wasn't part of it, I'd be pointing. What is that? Why is that there? <laughs> and I'd be, like I said, I'd be hitting it with lightning or fire or frost or something to get rid of it. You get rid I of. I, hmm? Can I can understand them nurturing tumors if they're wanting to add a room, because mm. that would would I assume be part of the process of actually turning these mushrooms into habitations. I don't know, but uh, I would. Ne I yeah no. The tumors turns turns me off. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Does that certainly a player home we won't be purchasing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at uh, what's his beak on uh, that the, the Solstein. He doesn't he isn't he's in a giant mushroom and there's no there's not a tumor to be seen on that entire island. No. Nope. Uh, well, let's see, bookshelf. There's not a single one there. Mm -hmm. So it can be done. Mm -hmm. The difference is though, the guys on here are Telvani. True, they have uh, people do uh, stuff for them. They don't like to do stuff on their own. Or they're just in, they're intellectuals. They're not hands-on. They're just pompous and lazy. <laughs> yeah. In intellectuals can perfectly well keep maintaining their properties. And, you know, keeping the garden tidy and whatnot. But... It's like it's it's their. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's their demeanor. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, look, look at Sun, Sun and Shadow's room. Here's a tumor right. I mean, they set a tang bottle like six inches away from it. What would have stopped? I mean, getting anything, a knife, reaching up as high as you can, cutting it, cutting it up into chunks, and oh, I don't know, maybe throwing it into the fireplace. Frying it up with some bacon? No! <laughs> Ew! <laughs> What's for breakfast, dear? <laughs> Tumors and bacon, honey. Oh, yum! <laughs> God, I think I'll I think I'll go down to the river and wash up, and maybe oh I don't know, junk punch a river troll. <laughs> <laughs> All right, talk to Sun and Shadow. <clears throat> feels like a palace compared to my old slave quarters. With any luck, I won't stay here long. I've hatched a plan that might catapult me to the rank of house retainer. 
See, now she, I mean, even though she's not in rags anymore, they still make her look just so sweet and you just want to help her. I mean, her demeanor, her soft voice, the way she carries herself. She just seems so, so meek. And you just, you just can't help but want to help her. <sighs> What's Yeah. <th> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, am I am I wrong or am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> What's the plan? I'm glad you asked. Retrieving scrolls and relics, gathering up roots and mushrooms. That's what the magisters expect from hirelings. Trust me when I say nothing stunts advancement like doing the expected. So how do you plan to defy their expectations? Real estate. Surprise. Good. Master Theoret has been making secret inquiries, looking for land near Ross. Ioki knows a farmer who may be willing to sell his plot. If I purchase the deed and give it to Theoret, he might sponsor my next promotion. I'll look into it. I know I could count on you. Here's the gold. I'll not pay a drake more than what's in that pouch. Mostly because I don't have a drake more than what's in that pouch. Ioki can provide more detail. Or you can just ask around Voss yourself. <laughs> I love how she she puts it. I'll not pay a drake more than what's in that pouch. Mostly because I don't have a drake more than what's in that pouch. It's like, well, <laughs> you can't argue with that. <laughs> it's like, I won't pay more well, than that. Why not? Well, I, really can't. I, don't, I have don't have any more. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs> uh, how's life as a free woman? Fantastic. I bought new clothes, see? No more sharing a room with eight other people. This space belongs to me. It's mine. Best of all, I can stop hiding. I don't have to tuck my tongues under blankets or hide scrolls in my bodice. I can just be. I was just thinking. If they would be... Because she asked her, you know, how she has to feel being a free woman. A woman, I do believe, is a human term. I would imagine that they probably have terms that they use for the male and female of their species. So I'm surprised you, you know. You would, you would think so. Yeah. Um, and I'm we don't refer to female elves as she elves. Uh, yeah. Which is kind of the accepted terminology from Lord of the Rings. Right. So I'm kind of <clears throat> curious what male and female Argonians, what, the, what term they use. It would have been kind of kind of nice if we would learn that. I mean, as detailed as they get in some things, I think that would be something that would be kind of cool. I mean, look at the uh, the Khajiit. I, I mean, look at all the terms that they use. Like a Jacajit for uh, for like a I guess it's supposed to mean like a young or an adolescent, and then all you know all the other terms that they use. So I mean, that's a that's a good step. I don't know, let's see. Uh, as a hireling, do you still work for the Magisters? Of course. Everyone works for the Magisters in one way or another. Hirelings occupy the lowest rung on the ladder. Aside from slaves, of course. But we can earn a wage and study in peace. We can even refuse a task if we wish. It's remarkable. You seem fairly independent even before you were made a hireling. I enjoyed more freedom than most, it's true. Most of the Marshborn slaves hated me for it. Called me Smokescale, Elfheart, and much, much worse. But that's all behind me now. I won. You won? I harnessed my ambition. Served my masters with loyalty and discretion and earned my freedom. They whine like belly-sick wars and rot in chains. It doesn't get any clearer than that. <laughs> that sounded a little... Harsh. Uh, let's see. How goes the plan to free Ioki? I told you before. These things take time. I can't simply buy him because Ireland's aren't allowed to own slaves. And they can't just set him free without jeopardizing my position in the house. This requires patience and an overabundance of caution. Who owns him currently? Archmagister Othiri. None of the other magisters would have him. Too many escape attempts. Then there's the matter of magical aptitude. The Telvani abhor his magic and make him wear suppression manacles all the time, even when he sleeps. 
If you removed the manacles, could he use his magic to escape? Doubtful. Hist magic doesn't operate by the same rules as Delvani spellcraft. I think that's why the Magisters hate it so much. I can't say for certain, but I doubt there's anything in Eoki's repertoire that could get him out of Sadric Mora. Alright, why does Master... What was it? Faruth want this land near Voss. From what I gather, he wants to build a new tower there. I've no idea why. Mistress Drapa essentially owns Voss, and I can tell you she does not welcome intruders. If I was mad enough to antagonize one of the Magisters, it would not be Drapa. Um, if that's the case, are you sh sure you should be helping him? I only need him to survive long enough to sponsor me. He won't break ground on his tower anytime soon. Plus, there's a rumor that Drapa suffers from some mysterious illness. It could be fear it's doing. You never can tell with the Telvanni. All right, goodbye. So now, have to. Now you're going to invite Mary. I am. <laughs> I don't know. She's been kind of condescending. <laughs> Constructive criticism. Oh, okay. Let's go with that. <laughs> Social. Friends. Marry. Invite to group. Let's see. What yeah, is... I'm now traveling to your okay. lab. Okay. What's the... That is... Fortifying meal. Do I want her to have it? Why not? Yeah. I really don't like that sound. It's like, like someone was ringing some kind of bell, but it's got a huge dent in it. Yep. It's a very dull sounding <laughs> bell, isn't it? It is. Alright, so. But I'm going to go ahead and find Ioki first to talk to him. If we can find him. No, that's for Glory. Let's travel to Voss. Ask citizens in Voss. Where's... I guess there's no marker for Ioki. Um, and I think... Could be at the docks? Um, I don't... Could be. Um... I mean, it's been a while since I've been on here, so I'm probably just headed the wrong way. Let's see. Well, there's the way shrine, so I would imagine he might be close to that. Yeah, there's the water's edge. There's the, the uh, bard. Let's see. Boss. Or ask citizens. Wow, that's way down there. That they want me to go. Oh, ask citizens in um in Voss. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> ah, an arrow's coming after me. <laughs> <laughs> There's Mary. <laughs> Hello, Mary. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I, I went and looked at the map and I see this arrow just coming down at me. And I'm like, Rawr! Now let's go to the, let's go, let's see. The docks are this, this way. Let's see if he's, if he's down by the docks. I don't remember where Ioki is. He I starts didn't... out at the docks. Yeah, I'll come down there and see, because he's the one I wanted to talk to first. I didn't want to go to... I didn't want to go to Voss first. I don't see... I see a, a navigator. You want to help me find him? I have no chance of finding him. What? He won't be... He, you won't be able to see him? Nope. Really? I will not be able to see him because I have completed the entire chain. But wouldn't he still be there? Was, I can't remember what happens to him, so he may have left. I'm not giving you any spoilers. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played it, so I don't remember what happened. Okay, I'm just going to... 
run around in a circle and see if I can find him. I cannot remember where he was last. And there's no marker. That's the thing that bugs me. Usually when they say talk to this person or that person, there's an arrow for each one. Yeah. And there's no arrow for Ioki. So I don't know where he is. So I'm running around the main, the just the main body. Wait, no, that's not. I saw sw Argonian sweeping. I'm like, is that Ioki? Nope. <laughs> Somebody with a name three times as long as Ioki's. Okay, I think I've made a full circle because there's the uh, the bard. All right, so this. He's still singing about Guars. Dude needs more material. Either that or he's got a weird obsession with guars. Uh -huh. and, if, and if that's the case, I don't want to know about it. Alright, I'm not going to look much more before I give up. And that was the one I just saw. Yeah, that Sardugook or whatever his name is. Let's run up here. Yeah, okay! Hello! Anybody seen a forlorn Argonian? Or a three lorn? I'll even settle for a two lorn. Jeez. Alright. I can't find him! <laughs> I honestly, I cannot find him. I know I'm probably just looking right past him. Oh, there's probably like a little area I haven't gone to. I would suck as an actual adventurer. I would be lost so damn quick. <laughs> They'd be like, go to such and such and talk to so and so. And I'd be like, okay, got it. And then I would leave the building that I was talking to and I would be standing on that person's front porch and I'd be like, what was that again? <laughs> Importance of keeping a journal. <laughs> right. Now, I know my luck. If I was in this kind of world, I would be a freaking NPC. <laughs> I am an NPC. I'm a, st I'm a stalker for crying out loud for, for, for my job. I am an NPC. And I'm not even the good kind of NPC either. I'm the one that has one line of dialogue that you click on, you know, when you click on him. I'm not even one that has, like, a shop to open or anything. Alright. I cannot find him. I have extensive dialogue as an NPC. Yeah, you're one of the higher-up NPCs. I'm, like I said, I'm just... I'm like the one you see in a house just sweeping. That's it, you know, and that's it. You know, and you can't click on him. He just walks by and says, you know, I'm busy. You know, that's pretty much me. <laughs> All right, let's. That work out why I have not discovered Bob's. I don't know. Talk to Ioki or ask citizens. Wait, does that mean Ioki's in Voss? That would piss me off. <laughs> no, he shouldn't be in Voss. Well, there's there's a little marker right there. I'm gonna head towards that because that's not that far away. Oh, Ioki's down there. I will slap the fins off his head. Not really. I like Ioki. Ioki's awesome. Oh, cotton. Well, I was going to harvest it, and then somebody on our line just ran over the top of it and squished it. Rude. Ioki! What in the hell are you doing out here? I walked all over the damn city looking for you. And you're hiding over here, playing with whatever these are. What the heck are those? Uh, I would guess that they are a type of fungus. Maybe like morals? Just on steroids? Yeah. Ah, another distraction. What is this one doing? It's like, yeah, I'm a distraction because I'm watching what you're doing. 
boy, this one needs some mental help. I don't know if you. I don't know if, if the if what she's doing you can see. Let's wait after, till after she gets back. Or she can do it over there. Let's see if she does it over here too. Yep. What what Mary? Watch how she harvests and see if you see anything out of the ordinary. And then look at my stream and see what she's doing. Okay, looking at your stream. Yeah. What? Well, yeah. Now. Watch how she. Uh, watch how she puts these things in her basket. That's what I'm wanting you to watch. She's gonna when she pulls her little hand sickle out. She will do it. I, like, I think she's currently got an invisible sickle. No, it looks like she was digging in the ground. Or pulling or uprooting something. Let's see. Um, there she goes. She's got the sickle. Watch her. It just, it... I'm fairly sure she's actually doing it to the right side of the basket on mine. If you, I'm saying look at the stream. Yeah, I was looking at the stream. She's trying. She's trying to pull the fungus that she's cutting into the basket through the bottom. Yeah, she's doing that on mine as well. <laughs> and then the the basket just miraculously puts itself upright right way up to the side. Yeah. And she's stabbing into the bottom. How she hasn't completely destroyed the bottom of that basket is beyond me. And yet, about it, it's, it's not really surprising why they tell Vonnie give their slaves so much flack. Yeah. I hate to say it, but this this one is not exactly the brightest bulb. Man, look! I just noticed. Look at that tail. That is a long tail for a Khajiit. Am I wrong? That is freaking huge. Or maybe it's just me. I don't think they are that long on the NPCs. I don't think they get that as, as long as that on PC Khajiit. I think it's because, I don't know, maybe because there's so many Argonians around and they just kind of messed up and gave the that Khajiit the same tail length as the Argonians. I don't know. I'm getting distracted. Talking to a Yoki. <laughs> My matriarch has got a longer tail than all of them. <laughs> Sun and Shadow said you may know a farmer near Voss who's willing to sell their land. I do. Otheri banished me to those farms for a time. I spent 30 days in the dry box and heard many things. A salt rice farmer named Barris Rendo grumbled like a sick crocodile. His wife called Voss a backwater sty. He would sell. Why do you ask? Sun and Shadow gave me gold to purchase some land for her. She gave you gold? I thought. My heart told me that she gathered coin to purchase my freedom. She probably seeks to parlay this into an even greater sum. I trust her judgment, even if I do not fully understand it. Good luck, my friend. All right, now, let's see. Now we have to go talk to Barris Rendo. Let's see, how far is that person? What? Sorry, I'm, just, I'm just laughing at the sound chat. Oh. So someone um, posted a question to Tanks, and three, maybe four have answered, and someone's come back with, this is an abnormal amount of Tanks. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. I'm going to head to the Sadrith Mora Way Shrine, and then I'm going to be heading right. up to the Telmora Way Shrine. Using the actual Shrey Rhine to go to it. I'm going to be using the actual Shrey Rhine. Yes, I'm going to use the actual Shrey Rhine. Yeah. Sorry, I have <laughs> tooth. I have tooth. Like it's it's making talking a little bit difficult. Oh, you just don't want to cop to that. You just said it wrong doesn't help that I've got a cigarette hanging out of my mouth as well. No, it doesn't. All right, so off to Tora. Telmora. Telmora Wisher. Yeah. 
All right, so let's see. Um, all right, we are headed. Well, on the other side, of, on the other side of the town, I believe. Well, not that far. Ooh, what's this? One more day. That's all I ask. Lane and Menwendel must have plenty to say. Oh, that's a quest I can get. Really? Well, I'm pick. I'm picking it up. Gray skies. Who is Savarak? The new wizard magistrate. When Mistress Dratha fell ill, House Telvanni put Savarak in charge of Vas. It was all honey and orchids for a time, but not anymore. The people are desperate for Dratha to return. I'm beginning to lose hope. Has anyone tried to do anything about it? Openly? No. Some work. Covets tell more tower, but until Dratha dies, he holds court in the gathering house. I'll pay Savarak a visit. Keep your wits around Savarak. The slipper is a slaughterfish, twice as deadly. What more can you tell me about Savarak? He's a member of House Telvanni, like Mistress Dratha. Mistress Dratha is powerful but reclusive. Savarak's a little more ambitious. So Zavarak has legal sanction to rule here? Technically, yes. Luckily, Mistress Dratha's mouth, Lane Sarger, has been working against me in secret. We're lucky to have her. Zavarak can sniff out a conspiracy like a Nixok sniffs out truffles. Without Lane, he'd probably be dead already. Who is Mistress Dratha? She's one of the oldest, most powerful Telvanni counselors and a ruler. Great fungal tower just across the river. She ruled Voss and lands beyond until she fell ill. Some people think it's just old age. I'm not so sure. Was she a better ruler than Savarak? A thousand times yes. Our mistress has a mixed reputation. Outsiders often say she is cold and calculating. That may be, but I don't mind. She cares for us from a distance intervening only when necessary. She respects our freedom. So the people would like to see her recover? We pray for her recovery every day. If Dratha dies, I fear that Voss will die with her. All right. Well, we're not going to talk to Savara because we have to go and talk to... Well, we can, but I'm not going to. I'm going to talk to Barris Rendo. Voss discovered. I wonder if Voss has a way shrine. Probably, well, if they do, it's probably going to be further north. We've just come to a way shrine. I know, but I was just wondering if Voss itself had one. Sometimes way shrines are close together. See, that's Bear Surrender. What is that? Let me guess, for glory. Of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. Every town has a stinking for glory thing. Is that? Oh, I, for some reason, that door from a distance looked like a bookshelf. Be because of the chain lock across it. Mm -hmm. At least I'm not the only one that's on. Oh, I was wondering, what is that sound? You've got your Twilight hum uh, singing a tune. Uh-huh. Is she going, la, 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 la. <laughs> Pretty much. Whoa! Um, That's not what I was... Well, that's not what I was wanting to do. And you're, you were stuck in the air for a second. 
I was gonna kill that nut Nick socks, but then I fell. Blessed thistle. I definitely don't want to aggro more than one at a time. Oh, is that the preening ones or just? Oh, it's a different set of preening ones. Not not preening. They're uh, preening or something. Huh? Grooming. Yeah, preening is something birds do. There's that one. Oh, this is a, a non-violent Nixox. Wait, you need mountain flowers. Here's a mountain flower. I remember you saying you needed some. Much. Yeah. Are these are these Nixoxes? Yeah, they're all friendly. Oh, okay. I was thinking, jeez. They're domesticated. Yeah, I, ju I just noticed that. Because I was thinking, man, what a place to have a, this many Nixox together. There's a uh, way, sh uh, way shrine, goodness. <laughs> It's contagious, isn't it? It is. <laughs> I was just thinking how much of a pain it would be to try to fight this many Nixox this, this close together. That would be a... Just fighting two at once would be a nightmare, I think. Alright, let's see. Oh, here's... Oh, there they are. Barris Rendo. Ah. Another adventurer. If you've come looking for salt rice, you'll have better luck in the market. A slim harvest, you know, and we're a bit short-handed at the moment. My son, Safen, has gone missing, you see. You haven't run into him, have you? I've been calling it salt trees all the time, and they call it salt rice. I don't know who's right. I'm guessing they are. Okay, um, I'm afraid not. I'm a I actually came to ask if you'd be interested in selling your farm. Wouldn't I? I gave up work as a financier in Balmora for a chance at the simple life. I, I love it here. But my wife, she struggles with the agrarian life. We'd jump at the chance to leave, believe me. But not before finding our boy. I'll find your son. You'll sell me your plot? Yes, in an instant. Like I said, Nineveh's practically packed her bags already. If you bring back our boy, we'll sell. Safen's always been a thrill seeker. Probably got lost in that Daedric ruin at Sutanimus. You'll find it just east of here. What can you tell me about this Daedric ruin? It's called Esutanimus. Tell me that. Safen's taken an interest in Daedric history. A waste of time, if you ask me, but I do admire his enthusiasm. We spoke about the shrine just a few days before he vanished. Apparently, it venerates that monster, Molag Baal. Yeah. Have you seen any Daedra there? I don't go anywhere near that place. We've got enough troubles here. Lean harvests. Clumsy Telvani wizards, my wife hen pecking me to death. No, I'll not invite some plague from the House of Troubles as well. <laughs> All right, I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Suryo. Be careful, and three protect you. Okay, where'd Mary go? Mary! Did she just vanish on us? No. Okay. <laughs> it just it just your um your uh icon is dark. Are you dead? What are you doing? You pl you're playing dead. Yeah. Are you are you sleeping next to the uh pony guar? I'm I'm sleeping next next to the pack guar. Oh, okay. The pony, the pony was happily munching. He looked like he was. No, he's this one here sleeping. The pack, okay. Yeah. Pack war. Yeah. But he's still a, That's a it, pack war. Okay. This one's munching. They're ah. they're really cute when they're eating. Okay. I got him. I got him confused. Pack and pony. But yeah, you weren't saying anything. I'm like, what in the world did she DC oh on me? Oh my gosh, pony guars are more polite than house guards. How's that? It actually walked around me rather than just barging into me. Oh. 
All right, so we got to go find. Uh, got to go to this. Wait, go to the. Yeah, go to the shrine. I, hmm? I need to do that reclaiming boss quest. That's why I don't have boss. Ah. Uh. Let's uh, let's do your uh, sun and shadow quest though. Yeah, I'm going to the. S yeah, I'm going to the Daedric Shrine. I don't. It's like, whoa. Silt Strider's making its noises oh, again. Goodness, that was a splash and a half that I made. Mm -hmm. I made it fairly good. Hey, look. Runestone. Wormwood. I like how the, they gave Silt Striders pretty much kind of like humpback whale noises. Yeah. It kind of seems to fit somehow. Oh boy. Tumor Central. At least on that tower. Yuck. Well, he's asking for gold, but, you know, you can't help someone if they won't let you. Nope. That's the funny part. He's asking for help, but he, <laughs> he won't let you. It's like, well, you're pointless. Yeah. The weird thing is, we've only ever come across one beggar that will actually let you give them money. And I've never seen that one. Yes, you have, because you gave her money too. I did. The one in, uh, yeah, yeah, you did. The one in, uh, can't remember where it is. It's the one where you've got the apothecary dude, who's really dismissive of alchemists, and has a huge allergy to cats. Oh, yeah. Okay. Really? I don't remember giving... Or is, or is it the one in Balmora? It had to have been in Balmora because that that one's, that quest wasn't that far back and I really don't remember even talking to a yeah, beggar that close it's, back. It's, it's one in the back streets of Balmora. Huh. I don't remember. But the okay. weird thing is though, there is an achievement in the game to to give money to several beggars across the whole of Camriel. Hmm. Maybe sometime we'll have to look them up. Yeah. Well, let's see what's going on over here. Anything? Nothing? What is it? I'm wondering if he's doing something with... The... Hold it. Hmm. Oh, he just threatened to kill Dakakia. Did he? Yeah. Drew his thumb across his throat. Can I kill him? Apparently not. No. It's pretty much what I guessed when I pulled my when my staff came out and all it did was just hum. Thinking, aw, I can't kill the jerk. Where is it? Where is she? Someone's talking. What is it? Where is she? Oh, ah! Well, I didn't exactly see before the snatching, but I definitely heard it. <laughs> what must happen? Her? No, no. That, um, that, uh, Twilight swooping down and snatching somebody out of the, um, off the ground. Oh, I didn't see that. Uh-oh. Well, you don't. Nice try. Yeah, I can see why you don't like clown fears. <laughs> yeah. They're one of a handful that I cannot stand. But if you know that they're coming, then you can block block their jump. I have... Wow, what... that's a jump. 
went way over me to get you. Mmm, roasted clan fear, my favorite. Yep. Tastes like chicken. Hopefully your uh, twilight won't take offense. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently she's just as happy to whoop their wings just as quickly as the rest of us. Let's see. Yep. Well, well, well. Look what we got here. Uh-oh. Oh, we have a Daedros. I accidentally hit that and wasted it. Whoa. Shockwaves, huh? And a fiend Roth. They're just roaches for crying out loud. Putting the word fiend in front of it is not going to make them less scary. Or more oh. scary. Yeah. Here comes. Oh, wow. Went after your... Man, he is messing up your twilight. Did you see that? That was it. Did you see all that? Yeah. Tackled your twilight to the ground. It looked like he started eating her midsection. Yep. It's like, that's a little bit on the rough side there. Humanoid, uh, skeletal mage. Let's see, where is the entrance? Oh, we have to hey, find here. this person. Okay. Let's see, is there anything here? There's pork and pork. All right, let's talk to this person. Someone without wings and razor sharp teeth. There's a sight for sore eyes. I think that's who got yanked up by the twilight. Uh, Sathan Rendo, your parents sent me. That's me, Sathan Rendo, explorer extraordinaire. My parents are worried. Typical. My mother barely trusts me to push a broom, let alone investigate a ruin. Of course, things could be better. I've attracted the attention of some winged twilights. What do you mean attracted? Every time I try to make my escape, they swoop down on my head. Well, not to hurt me, mind you. They just sort of tussle my hair with their claws and push me back into the ruins, cooing all the while. I think they see me as some kind of pet. I'll distract them. You make a run for it. A daring escape. You'll have to slay them, eh? Pity. Of course, I did see them tear an Ashlander apart as he wandered by, so I won't shed too many tears. I'll make a run for it. We can meet up west of here towards Voss. Be careful. Get ready. I'll distract them. Um, I don't know who I'm distracting. Because I don't see any just yet. Ah, the matriarch is coming. Be careful. I'll run straight back to Voss. Okay, so I have to go towards the Twilight Matriarch, I guess. Wait, I heard a sound. She's angry. Now she's dead. Try to loot and I bring out my elemental. Mm-hmm. It happens. Okay, now I have to meet... Now we have to go meet, meet him. I'm glad we didn't have to actually go and, like, explore the inside of a ruin.
Oh, I didn't get that block in in time. That's all right. Back across the water. Mm, there's a kagooty. Dead kagooty. Even worse. Ooh, that was a. I was gonna say his coloring was different. And I thought, I bet you that's a bull kagooty. Show enough. And they're a lot more aggressive. And bigger. And chintzier on the loot. <laughs> I, I didn't want the butterfly. Yeah, you can have the cotton. Thank you. I'm just about to. Uh, there's a. Uh, my tailoring. I was gonna say there's a uh, rune stone, right over there by that rock. There you go. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go get me a Nick Sox. an actual enemy Nick Sox. Whoops! Hit the wrong button, so I got knocked down. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna head towards. What's his face? You came um, after me. Yep. You're getting as bad as mother. I'm I not really a child. Yes. Believe me, okay. I'd rather be begging our crop. Do you know how your mother is? Wait. Won't give me a moment's peace. Fine. I just need a breather. <laughs> well, I'll talk to him as soon as he lets me. There we go. There you are. Sorry to check up on you. I knew you had the situation well in hand, but Ninabe practically kicked me out. Said not to come back without Satan. I'm glad I won't be going back empty-handed. He attracted the attention of some winged twilights. Attracted the attentions? Uh, uh, never mind. I don't want to know. <laughs> I'll miss this place, but Vec knows I'm not much of a farmer. Just glad I got to thank you in person. Your partner, Mertis, already paid me for the deed to the property. My partner? I don't have a partner. What? Oh dear. The fellow was very convincing. Caught me right before I set out to find Satan. He wasn't much of a conversationalist. Just paid me a hefty sum of gold and snatched up the deed. He set out toward Voss once we finished the sale. Well, now we have to go track down, uh, Murtis. How far is that? Not too far. You can do it I on top. I just want to make it clear before he goes away that my matriarch has absolutely no intention of pouncing on your boy. <laughs> she has better taste. <laughs> Does she? <laughs> She's with me. <laughs> there you go. Fair enough. Ugh, Nyx hounds. Fine, be that way. Oh no, you don't. I wouldn't even want to pet Nyx hound. Less Nyx hounds. Yeah. I just got a feeling in this in this world that no one such fear. that Nyx hounds uh, probably breed like rabbits. Well, that was quick. He just said, "Never known such fear." It says above. Well, let's see. Can I go above this way? Looks like. Or. Okay, no tracking down Murtis Othran. With any loose ends. I'm a loose end. Come, 
Come deal with me. Well, start tying, big boy. Come on, what's the hold up? You're not doing so well. Aww. Collect additional evidence, huh? Well, what do we have here? Myrtle's bag. Let's see, is it long? No, I'll read it. Oathman Murtis Othran. Uh, it brought me great joy to hear you accepted my contract. You come highly recommended despite your arcane handicaps. This task requires discretion, and I fear some measure of martial prowess. If the stories are true, you possess both in ample measure. The recently elevated Argonian Sun and Shadow shows ambition well beyond her station. My contacts tell me she plans to purchase land outside Voss for Master Faruth, one of my witless rivals. The task is simple. Travel to Voss and keep watch for Sun and Shadow's associate. Once the henchman chooses a plot, swoop in, secure the deed, and make haste to a selected spot. Use the enclosed calling crystal to signal me. I will travel to your location and exchange the second half of your fee for the deed. While I prefer a clean and bloodless acquisition, do not hesitate to use lethal force if necessary. I hope my faith in you is not misplaced. Remember, you serve the great house Tilvani. Bring honor to yourself and your house. And I guess that's probably a, a J. Maybe a T. Kind of hard to say. Alright, now I have to talk to Sun and Shadow. And how far away is she? Not far, not far, I think. Oh, I very far. Huh? I see a chest. You do? Yep. You kind of master. Ooh. Yep. I will step aside and let you. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. All right, let's do this, folks. With like one or two seconds to spare. <laughs> I got 52 gold, a Defiler's Arm Cops, which is purple, and an Orc Metal Pauldrons of Magicka. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. I don't think she could use either of those, but I'm going to look. Whew. Well, here's uh, some... Or of ore? Um... Maybe later. Let's see, do I have that? I already have. Um, oh, that's one that requires rank six for me to be able to read that. Okay, so it's not getting under, under supplies. What do we have? What did I... Oh, yeah. A peach bow. Uh, chest piece. Do I have... Let's see, I'm wearing a warrior poet, so nothing I can get from them is going to be better. Uh, shoulders. What is that? Oh, it's max stamina. It's a defi it's part of the defiler set which um, grants weapon da um, added weapon damage and weapon critical um, as you grow the set it's not bad but it's medium armor it's not gonna do me any good all right wait what isn't okay and then there's the magica ones that I got they're not part of a set or a or a chalk, yeah, or a chalk pauldrons of magicka. Let's see. What do we got? I got a, a slightly better necklace to reduce. Well, that says reduce feet cost. I don't care about feet. I don't even know what my. I know I'm going to regret saying it, but I don't know what my feet are. And do not tell me they're the things at the end of my legs either. Let's see. Oh, oh, these are... Oh. Ooh, wait a minute here. Noise. I can replace my uh, uh, health rings. Great. 
Yeah, because the two the two health rings, to um together add four hundred and fifty one maximum health. And I've got a copper ring of reduced feet, but the um. Not the enchantment, but the other part on it is called healthy. So it increases maximum health by nine hundred forty three. So that's like forty one. I think forty one health more. Yeah, and that opens up one one ring slot. So I'll take the other ring off. So that way, if I find another ring, I can wear that. Nice, nice, nice. I got the ore. Okay, I didn't even know there was ore. <laughs> I I did say do you want the orange alchemore? Oh right, right. Oh, I thought you meant that you had some and you were going to give it to me. That's how I that I misinterpreted what you were saying. I know you're not surprised. Hmm. I think Sun and Shadow's a long ways away. Yes. 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 Okay. I so. Just to, uh, do the reclaiming box. Um. Yeah. Why not? Let's see. Um. Talk to Sabarak. Message, huh? What do we got? Well, I'm sure it's making a lot of skittering noises. That takes care of that. <laughs> it was a fetcher fly right by me. So I, well, I pulled its wings off. All right, gathering house. Oh, uh, ooh, bookshelf. Mean old torch bug. <laughs> is that all she's going to do? Is just. Yep. Well, Khajiit's liking it. it I would be able to handle that until I went to, wanted to try to go to sleep. And then I'd be like, why can I hear the house's heartbeat? It won't stop. That's what I'd be thinking. What was that? Oh, a jewelry box. I was just cruising around to see what was what there was. Just one other bookshelf. Everything else is uh, stealable. Stealable? In, yeah. In full view of everything. Oh, shiny. Shiny? The 36 shiny. Yeah, the 36 lessons, sermon 8. Seven, eight. I'm telling you one thing, they need to put that all in one book. There's no way in heck I want 36 volumes. Yeah. Actually, there may be more than that because that does not it does not say the 36 lessons, lesson 8. It says sermon 8. I've never actually read one of these these books when I when I come across them, so I don't know if a sermon is the same thing as a lesson or if there are numerous sermons in a lesson. Or numerous lessons in a sermon. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> All right, I'm going to talk to Savarak Fells. I do hope you'll forgive my candor, but I must ask. Brings a bumbling outlander to my gathering house. Do you fancy yourself a Telvani mage? No, I think not. You may take your leave immediately. Oh, I would love to just. He is not weathering well. That dagger that I that I keep showing because I'm using the uh, uh -huh. what is it the assassin personality? Yeah, the assassin personality. 
would fit perfectly right between those two plates on his chest. <laughs> You're Savaric, aren't you? Ah, I see the Nawais well informed. If you know that I am Savaric, you must also know that I rule Voss as its wizard magistrate. Do you bring me some petition, or is this just a social visit? I hear your reign has been difficult for many of us as citizens. Have a care how you speak, Outlander. It is true that certain of Voss's citizens have struggled during this period of transition, but I'm hardly to blame. They've taken Drafa's illness very hard. It's led to idleness and crude insubordination. So it's true. You're abusing the people of Voss. Someone has to. Drafa's mouth, Lane Sardry, refuses to assist me. She just lurks by her mistress's bedside in Telmora, scheming and fomenting unrest. People in crisis require a firm hand. If that offends your gentle sensibilities, move on. Or we could just, I don't know, shank him. Yeah. <laughs> Since he's supposed to be so powerful, I'd rather do it with a different one of my characters. So that way I could have the Blade of Woe and just one-shot him. <laughs> yeah, see, that's one That's one thing I'm, look, I'm looking forward to um, is... Uh, Getting as doing the uh, Dark Brotherhood uh, quest line with our cooperatives, just because some of the kills that you do with the Blade of Woe are so fun to watch and so brutal, that I would love yeah. the love the viewers to be able to see it. Because some of them just some of them even I laugh at how how brutal or just wrong the kills are. Let's see. Talk to Lane. How far away is Lane? Not far at all. Apple basket. What was that? Oh, it's just a scavenger. Hey, look who's up there. A pony guar. Oh, that's not a pony guar. Is it? No, oh, yeah. Isn't it? No, it's not a pony. What are those? I can't remember. Uh, oh, what are those called? Give me a second. Phantom. Phantom guars. Yes. Little tiny things. They're little lizardy bird chicken things. Uh, <laughs> I just look at them and they're, they're, they're just. They're just all chickens. Yeah. I just look at them and they're just so weird. They look like a reptile, but they have the stance of a bird and they have the body movements of a bird, of a chi you know, typical like chickens have those real short movements that they make, you know, with their heads. And stuff. It's like uh -huh. it's just wrong. This is yep. my lizard bird. What is so, it? So, guys, you've seen it here. Birds are not descended from pterodactyls. <laughs> They're descended from guars. <laughs> right. Oh, we get to go into the tumor house. Yay. Yay. Okay, fine. You pull the wings off of it. <laughs> it said someone's using that. <laughs> it gave me away, did it? Yeah. Now, see the inside of this without just without the uh, without the tumors, I could do because I think this would be awesome to walk through your front door and have this huge freaking mushroom in here. This is where this is where I would have, um. It's got several different mushrooms in, in one spot. Yeah, but see, right under here, this is where I think this is probably where I would like to have my my den. You know, where you're gonna have you know, or even a, you know, dining room or something, something where you're gonna have social gatherings. I think it'd be awesome under here. Right next to the ones that look like they're blood spattered. Oh yeah, those are highly, t at least in, <laughs> at least in our world, you know, you know, on Earth, I do believe those are highly deadly. Yep. But I mean, you can dig them up. Just it's not like you're saying, oh well, they're there. There's nothing we can do about it now. But yeah, and then hang like fairy lights, or just like right along the the edge, of of this of the giant mushroom. That'd be pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we haven't been in here before, so we need to look for a uh, 
Yeah, look for bookshelves. <laughs> the Vard Vark experiment. Uh-huh. Makes you wonder, what's the experiment? I, I love the ending of that one. I didn't read it. I... Master Scaly tells death will be the end to his species. Mark my words. Ah. Never will I allow my beloved Vardenfell to be overrun by creatures so revoltingly cute. <laughs> Sparkly. If you hadn't seen it already. Mistress Dratha's journal. Let's see, is it? Hopefully. No, nope, it's not long, so I can read it. By Mistress Dratha Telvani Mage. Well, I can't say that the Telvani house was never good for anything, at least after this find. Answers may come in the most unexpected places, but only fools ignore the resources available to them. I'll have to make sure the re uh, to return the favor to my ever-pleasant house tribunal. Uh, oh, wait. Let's see. Yeah. <sighs> i got to try it again. I'll have to make sure to return the favor to my ever-pleasant house. Tribunal knows they would never let me hear the end of it if I did not. I knew that my answer would come from a troubled source. I do not fear the Daedra, but I hate the idea of bargaining with one. No matter, my need is that great. Who else would take up my mantle? I know of the cost, yet I remain resolute. I must. The research notes in this tomb are ignorant rubbish, naturally. Scholars with a with a lick of common sense are hard to come by these days, and I find that ever more true when dealing with my fellow Telvani. However, I know the truth to this particular cultist chant, and it may hold the answers I'm looking for to solve my pressing need. Stones of cold fire burning blue call forth the servant of our Lord, a bargain we have come to make, to grant us with our due reward. A child could see that these stones of cold fire are necessary for the summoning ritual. I must find someone to collect these stones before it is too late. Someone strong enough to defeat uh, Zykonaz. I'll need him... Huh? Zykonaz. Zykonaz? Okay, close enough. I'll need him weakened, even with the stones. If only competent help was easier to come by. Well then... Let's see what else we got. Nope, not, not ready for the portal yet. Here's two bookshelves. <laughs> Gee, this is a familiar one. Cheeses of Tamriel. Oh, no, wait. We got Cheeses of Skyrim, didn't we? That's the one we kept running. You know you have too much, che too many different kinds of cheese when you actually have to have a book about them. <laughs> you realize he's speaking to someone who is British and has access to a lot of cheese. Yeah, I know. There is it. That's uh, we do have cheese books. Yes, I realize that. Why do you think I said stuff like that? <laughs> because we're not as bad as the French. Oh. I'll check in on her again in the morning. For now. Just get some rest, eh? You look awful. Yes, thank you, Mum Rimble. And please let me know straight away if you make any progress on the cure. Of course. And I meant what I said. Sleep, Lenny. What? A, uh, yes, yes. Another wood elf. And who might you be? Oh, nobody important. Just someone that wants to look around through your little room to see if there's anything I can take. You got water in your bathtub. Ew, I wouldn't want to be in that bathtub. It looks like a bathtub from Fallout. Look how dirty that thing is. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like, are you kidding me? You're telling me that you bathe in that thing. Yeah, I ain't buying that for a second. You're drowning people in there. Well, there's Mr. Stratha. Ooh, wait. Okay. I don't like it when some areas are so dark you can't see. Steal from the cupboard? No. Steal from the cabinet? No. Empty cabinet. Protector. That's the way we came in. Alright, there's nothing. Alright, Lane Sadri. It takes some pluck to enter a Telvani tower uninvited. 
Impressive. I'm Lane Sarge, mouth to the glorious Mistress Drotha. What is it you want, Outland? I like her outfit, too. I've come to discuss the situation in Voss. The situation? The catastrophe, more like. Savarak and his black snail mercenaries are strangling the life out of that town. I do what I can, but Savarak has the support of the council. My hands are firmly tied. You, on the other hand. Ooh, is she uh, inviting to tie her hands? Oh, wait, I'm thinking of something else. How can I help? <laughs> Savarak won the support of the council shortly after my mistress fell ill. I've always known him to be clever and enterprising, but all this wealth and muscle. That's me. Despots rule with sword and coin. Savarik has an abundance of both. Uh, do you know where the golden mercenaries are coming from? I don't, but I think we can find some answers in Savarik's manse. He's turned the old Derano house into a palace and a fortress. If you break in and find some evidence of corruption, I might be able to turn the council against you. Manse, huh? I guess... Guess that's short for mansion? Uh, like a mansion. Yeah, uh, like a mansion. I was going to say, I've never heard the word. Uh, what should I be looking for exactly? This can't possibly be the first time someone's asked you to snoop through a wizard's manse. Just look for anything that seems out of place. Official documents often provide clues on this sort of thing. Let us too. You'll know it when you see it. So you're Dratha's mouth. What's wrong with her? I wish I knew. Our resident herbalist, Men Wendell, has been developing on a variety of cures. She's capable, brilliant even, but my confidence wanes. We know the illness deadens the mind and causes rigors in the limbs, but beyond that, we're stumped. All right, goodbye. Okay. Portal zoop. Find evidence of corruption. Yay, fun. We like snooping. Yeah, I don't mind it. It says above, so I wonder if it's like above, above. Let's see, let's go this way first. Well, let's look on the map and see how far away it is. Ah, it's not that far. What do you want? I'm just running. Gosh. What do you want? It's like, what makes them think I want anything? I'm just running. Man, these people are nosy. Say, all of a sudden your your uh, twilight just made it sound like she just just died. I was looking around, going, "Holy shit! Did your little adder just eat your twilight?" <laughs> okay, we get to trespass. Yay! No, no emonies. No emonies. No emonies. So far, anyway. Yeah, so far. Let's see. Well, there must be Emonies in here because there's a uh, yellow basket to hide in. Yipe! There's somebody with their back to the doorway. Quite there yet. So yeah, hang you know, hang fire where you're at. I'm not sure where they're going to go. Okay, now they're they're on the move forward, so it's probably it might be safe. Okay. I don't know. Get past. Oh, there's another person. But I'll hide in here. Uh there's going to be somebody in the room to your left. Just run and just I'll say if they caught you, just run and dive in here. Or kill them. Either or, but run and dive in the hiding spot. That automatically breaks. 
For a second there, I thought he was going to attack me in the barrel. I, was... I cannot see a hiding spot. Right here. I'm in one. It's not letting you? I have, I have nothing highlighted as a hiding spot. Huh. Well... I could tell you were low on health, so I figured I'd better help. Now the only drawback is we have a 357 gold <laughs> bounty. <laughs> Freshly pen note. Let's see, is this long? No. Rylos, uh, Narandus requests a meeting. Usually I would send Nissimal, but a case... Huh? Sorry, sorry, go ahead. Um... But a case of gout has rendered him useless. Given that you are his deputy, the task falls to you. Make haste to the wharf east of town and find out what troubles our friend. Narandus insists on total secrecy, so you must use a passphrase. You will approach him and say, The cliff racer takes wing, to which he will reply, Its stench remains. Um, I needn't remind you that the situation remains perilous so long as Drotha lives. Do not fail me. Savarag. Yes? You were going to say something? Um, now the hiding spot is lit up for me. Now it is? Yeah. Huh. It is now. now I'm not in combat. Look out. Yeah. Did I get spotted? Unless it still says hidden. All right, let's see. Letters to Savara. Uh, Sudura Savara. The coin barons of House Halalu are pleased with your progress, but there is much left undone. Encloses a letter of credit that should keep you well funded for now. One matter of what's this? what? Consternation? Okay, never heard of that word before. Uh, persists. Drotha's health. So long as that witch draws breath, our plans remain stymied. Your kinsmen in House Telvani lack the Halalu's attention to detail. But even the most foolish mage cannot be tricked forever. We must redouble our efforts. Do your part, and all accounts will be paid. House Halalu shall welcome you. And Telmora will be yours to rule. N. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, like I said, don't just run out of there. <laughs> I just started. I actually, where I'm at, if I turn, oh, he must have moved. But as I as I turned my ca turned the camera, I could see his sheath, just the end of it. Uh huh. You're safe to come out. Yeah, I came out. I'm coming, trying to find where I'm supposed to go next. Oh, how did I miss that? Black Snails shipping notice. Attention Black Snails. I still think that's the dumbest name for a mercenary group. <laughs> it's like, does that mean you're like really, really slow? <laughs> Shipments and correspondence arrive on the tide. All outgoing freight, crew, and mail must be present and counted, uh, and counted on Selville Island, one hour prior to Tide's Ebb. No exceptions. Uh, direct any questions or complaints to your direct supervisor, Captain Nissimal. Now we have to talk to Lane. Hopefully. Oh, I was going to say, what is that? But it was you, Mary. I don't know how the heck we're going to... Well... I was just thinking, I don't know how... I mean, I still should... I should have... Pl oh, yeah, I've got more than enough money, so if I get busted, I don't care. I care if I get busted. Well, then don't get busted. Let's see. I mean, if I get caught by a guard, I get caught by a guard. I have over 17,000 gold, so I don't care. 350 is not going to hurt me none. That's a ways down, but I can do it this way. Here we go. As a matter of fact, there's a house guard now. 
I'm gonna try something just to see what can, to see if he can catch me. Yep. <laughs> yeah, just take my money. Yeah, <laughs> bounty. Sure, we can call it that. Yeah, I always wondered about that. Because usually, you don't pay a fine directly to the guard that catches you. You have to pay it to the, you know, like the office or something. So, yeah, when he's I, like... I've always paid it to the guard. He's coming. He's coming. Yeah, uh, but yeah, when he said, you know, bounty, sure, let's call it that. It's like, yeah, I just bribed him with 346 gold. That's all it was. I gave him the amount, and he he'll clear it. But he's going to keep that money to himself. Are there any guards in here? Um, I don't believe so. Um, there's a steward. No, there are no guards. Wait. All right, I'm going to talk to Lane. You're back? I admit I didn't expect you to return. Forgive me. It's hard to know who to trust these days. It seems you actually do mean to help us. Did you find anything? Well, at least she's not one of those that didn't expect us re to return because she was sending us on a death mission. <laughs> like, what's his face? Um, uh -huh. You know who I'm talking about. Sotha Seal's uh, former apprentice? Uh -huh. Yeah, him. <laughs> yep. uh, show Lane the documents you, um, you found. Honestly, what kind of idiot leaves this many documents lying about? Still nothing about my mistress's illness. So what do we know? How Solara is bankrolling Savarg's operation, his wealth and mercenaries arrive via Selville Island. And one of his subordinates is supposed to attend a secret meeting. Right. With someone named Narondas, yes? The Halali's hatchet man here in Voth, no doubt. If they are using passphrases, they must not know each other by name or by face. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I could try to meet with Narondas instead. Find Narondas near the wall and use this passphrase. I'll have the few house guards still loyal to Mistress Frotha make sure no one approaches. We don't want the real contact to muck things up. Learn what you can, then make a swift exit. Ooh, we're going to be sneaksy. Well, you, I was going to say, you can stay in there if you want to, Merrick, because of your bounty. I mean, I can't help... I'll let, I'll, let, I'll let you go first. You can warn me if there are any guards. Okay. I'm looking. None at the moment. Uh, there's one on the dock. Uh, that's headed in on, towards us. Um, he's still heading straight. Where are you at? Have you gone around? There you are. Okay. Um, looks like the dock might be, might be clear. I think the dock's clear. What do you want? Yeah, dock is clear. Yeah, it wasn't at this side. Well, I didn't see anybody. I was moving around. I'm fleeing. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, he's on the boat. That's where I have to go is to that boat. All right. I was going around the arrow, and then all of a sudden the arrow's going the opposite direction, so I jumped in the water for no reason. Oh, well. I'm now kill on sight. You're now kill on... Well, I... I've had that happen to me numerous times. I don't know where you saw the uh, guard, but I sure didn't see one. He was at my end of the dock. Huh. He was, li he was literally stood there. The, on the end of the dock. The only guard I can see is the one that just stepped onto the dock and is headed west. That is the only guard that I see that's near the docks. So. Oh, it's the. Is this the wrong boat? Oh, yeah, it's the wrong boat. I'm like, where is this person I'm supposed to talk to? I realize I'm on the. I'm going <laughs> towards the wrong boat. Here we go. Norandus. It's about fetching time. 
trying to see if there's any way that I can actually get up onto the mm. dock. The cliff racer takes wing. Like the stench remains. Late, always late. Our plot to kill Dratha proceeds at a snail's pace. I blame myself, in part. Tell Mora's fungal growth has proven to be more resilient to the toxin than I expected. So we're poisoning the Telmora mushroom? Of course we are. To release lethal spores. What moon sugar cart do they drag you out of? I'm near to finishing the new toxin, but I need to know the current status of the infection. Examine the deceased nodule at the tower's base and report back. Right, now we're talking about the... the mushrooms. The diseased mushrooms. Why they're there. Well, not why they're there, but what's be, you know. We're discussing them. It says above. So that means up here. Okay, I am just going to go and talk to that chap now. Okay. Is it, wait. Oh, that was... Stupid petrofly, you just lost your wings. I still have to go above? Still have to go above. Okay. Maybe... Maybe it's inside. Is it inside? No, because there's no marker on the door. Let's see. I know I keep doing that thing where I try to look around the corner physically. But, I mean, who doesn't do that? Oh, for pity's sake, I fell in the water. <laughs> I see the arrow where we're supposed to go, and I just got to figure out how the heck to get to it. Uh, you don't what? mind waiting for me? Well, I'll, I'll wait once I find out how to get there. And that way we can both that go. Oh. doesn't help if I can't figure out how to get there. Well, I just said to the entrance, not I'm going to stand right there. I'm at the entrance to where I, is where it should lead to. So I'm in the... Well, you can see where I'm at. Uh, I can't at the moment because you're too far away. Ooh. Yes. I found a sieve strove. Oh, okay. I don't know if this mage is going to move, though. Ah. I think you can take from the thieves' trove without any worries, can't you? Apparently so. I was going to say, that's not... I can't pickpocket him now, though, because he's aware of what I just did. Ah. <laughs> Whew, cold chill. Not sure why. I'm here. You are? So you are. All right. Malignant growth, you think? Complete investigation. Talk to Lane. It's like, ugh. So, can we get around this way? Nope. So, I'm going to go this way. Look at that. I could have made it. I didn't think I could. Well, I'm just an idiot, but what else is new? Butterfly. Let me guess. I took the long way around. Is that what you're trying to tell me? By standing there looking at me like what took you so long? <laughs> <laughs> and yet she does not deny it. It's just the posture. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not mad. It's just my face. I just plucked the wings from a butterfly. I was just stood there minding my own business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Lane Sadri. You still have your head on your shoulders, so it can't have gone all that poorly. Did you manage to learn anything? The tower's fungal growth is killing Dratha. Savarak and the Halalu poisoned it. What? Those fetching bastards. The answer was right here the whole time. Mistress, forgive me. 
Look, I'm no slouch when it comes to magic, but fungal infections are well outside my area of expertise. You'll have to find Menwendel, our herbalist. Where is this Menwendel? She established a small nursery beside the tower. With any luck, she'll be there. If not, ask her assistant, Grace Dyes. Please don't dawdle. I'm not sure how much longer my mistress can hold on. What will you do in the meantime? I'll contact the Telvanni Council immediately. I'm sure they'll love to hear about Savarit's tawdry affair with those gold pinchers in House Halali. If I know the council, and I do, Savarit will be feeding the shroom beetle by week's end. <laughs> and Voss will be free of his reign? Indeed. The citizens of Vos will be free to go about their lives in peace. Although for Vos to truly flourish, we must also restore my mistress Drothel to proper health. From the looks of things, she doesn't have much time. She actually pronounced it Vos. 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 Yeah. The first time, but then she pronounced it slightly differently the second time. It was kind of like the um, the uh, voice actor. She said it. She, she said Vos, and then she realized, oh shit, I mispronounced it. So I'm going to take it between Vos and Vos, uh -huh. <laughs> and work my way back to to doing it to spell to pronouncing it properly. Hopefully, they won't notice. <laughs> over there in the sound room. <laughs> and apparently she was right that they didn't. <laughs> Menwendel's Nursery. Oh, I like... I forgot about this. I like this. Could have more, more plants, but all things considered, still pretty cool. Is someone there? Please help oh. me. Oh yeah, I remember. Gray skies. Yep, I forgot. Oh, I thought he was. Oh yeah, he is tied up. Gray skies. Why do you have boobs? I don't want to know. He doesn't you. have boobs. He just has Please a really small raised. abdomen under his ribcage. Savarik set those black snail thugs on us. Uh, that's probably what he'd tell you as well. Probably. I tried to. Sorry, just let me catch my breath. He's kind of cool looking in a way. He's got kind of like a dinosaur head. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me he does not have like almost, almost, not really T-Rex, but maybe more like Allosaurus type traits. Especially the uh, snout and the um, brows really give him a, like a... Thunder lizard look. <laughs> All right, where's Menwendel? They took her. She didn't make it easy. Bit one of their ears off, broke a glass over another one's face. But in the end, they were just too much for her. The leader kept shouting not to kill her. Said someone named Narandas needed her alive. Which way did they go? I heard one of them mention a hideout along the coast. There are a few old pirate dens south of here. Maybe they've claimed one. Man Wendell knows more about the fungal tower than anyone. Hist only knows what they have planned for her. He was kind of dumb. Which way did they go? What answer could he give other than um, back upstairs? Yeah. <laughs> He's not going to know. Here's a bookshelf. Morrowind Fauna, part one. Anything here? Skin blights by any other name. Well, it's not glowing, but I'll I'll click on it and scroll through slowly. Oh, excuse me. All right, was there? That one's empty. Nothing else. The funny thing was. Not only did he not ask us to... Is he... He is tied up. Yep. He did not ask us to untie Wait, him. No, he's not, he's not tied up. He's got one hand across his chest. Um, no, not... Oh, wait. Yeah, I see it. Okay. I was at a wrong angle. I didn't see his hand... I didn't see his right hand. All right. That confused me. I was going to say, why did he not ask us to untie him? And why did we not offer... Because his hands aren't tied. Like I said, I just 
Wrong angle. I didn't see that hand. I still think this is, I still like this. This little nursery. All right. We need to follow clues to track Menwendels. Uh, captors. We get to kill bad guys. I'm all for killing bad guys. Do, do, do. Papers, Menwendel's notes. Take. And we only take one of them. We just leave the rest, the rest of them scattered all around like a bunch of idiots. It's like, no, nope, we only need I this. I can't take any of the others. <laughs> It'll probably respawn, I would imagine. What, what, or did no, it? It's, it's gone. Did it have anything? Did you read anything on it? It was just something to pick up. I mean, okay. I could, let me check. Um... Um, quest items. See if it says anything. Menwendel's notes. Um, it just says a page torn from the journal of Menwendel, Mistress Drotha's herbalist. It looks like it may have fallen during a struggle. Okay. So it's nothing I can read. Um, Somebody just ran past us, did they not? I can swap. Uh, I like to come here. Kagoody. And my Argonian mage. I wonder. Let me check something here. He's not. Nope, he's still Argonian. New one. Argonian, come on. There's something I was wanting to check on. I keep getting my. The Argonian, though. Quit! I don't want the Argonian right at the moment. I want anybody but the Argonian. I'm almost out of Magicka. Oh, yeah, I just saw that. All right. I was right. The, um, the style of the staff changes along with the race of the mage. Uh-huh. Cool. So that's a Khajiit, and that is a Khajiit style. That's uh, not a Khajiit. Well, the one I could. The one I have. Yeah, yeah, the one I have is a Khajiit, and that is a Khajiiti style staff. That is, that was just something I just noticed. That is cool that they actually went to that level. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. I wouldn't have thought of that. Oh, that looks. Okay, how did the guy in the cellar? see everything that's been happening out here with the tussle and the broken bowls. Beats me. He's good. <laughs> Take broken bottle. It says this broken bottle was surrounded by a noxious fluid and other alchemical reagents. Men Wendell may have tried to use it as a weapon. I just realized I need to take my level. So I'm going to do that. Right now, let's see. Choose one. Maple, oak, or beech. Uh, I don't see much maple. And I don't... See, well, actually, I don't see a whole lot of oak out there. I see more maple and beech. So I'll take that. And one more in Magicka. I got two points. Um, oh, Skeletal Mage can be... Morphed. Uh, just to let you know, we've got Black Snail Assassin just down the road. Ah, uh, turn this to an Arcanist. And actually, I'm going to wait for the other one. I need to make a little quick trip to the restroom. So. All right. You okay if I take out this Assassin? I'll yes. Go go right okay. ahead. Okay. Yep. So I will be back in just a little bit.
All right, folks, I'm back. Sorry about that. But you know the old phrase, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Oh, turn the keyboard back on, dummy. Holy cow, I've got all these different windows. All right. Oh, I forgot. I, that's not going to disappear on me. i got to get rid of it first. Hang on a second. I forgot to get rid of my little notification that tells me that OBS is using my webcam. It's like, I know. <laughs> All right. We're following clues now. Uh-oh. Aw, uh, I was just watching him going, what a pitiful assassin. <laughs> I mean, you know when you're a bad assassin, when you're in stealth and yet clearly still seen. Uh-huh. You need more training. <laughs> you know what I love about that, uh, about that little encounter that we just had? Hmm. As your skeletal mate exploded on him. My Daedric curse made him explode from the inside out as well. So. Mm. That wasn't the Daedric <laughs> mage, that was the uh, blast bones. That, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, I, I kind of figured. Yipe! <laughs> I don't know why I yiped. It's only a black snail. Oh, there's something shiny over here. What is that? Oh, it's wood. Maple. It would have been funny if it if um if it was oak. Since that was the want to take out that archer that's on the rock. Oh sure, why not? Interrupt his fishing. Way to go. <laughs> oh, there's a pewter seam right here. Oh, excuse me. All right, what's next? Mm, black snail soldier. Recipe, apple baked fish. Um... I'm not so sure about that. Might be better than garlic and fish. Might be. But you know, garlic and fish, num num num. <laughs> Torch what? Oh, torch you? Okay. <laughs> Ooh. What was that bug loss? Yep. Yeah. What's that? Iron ore. Uh, where's another black snail down there? Um, there we go. Well, that explains a lot. in there. Small game. Melons. And fish. But yeah, this explains a lot. Look at this target dummy. I think it's almost in pristine condition. Yep. They don't you <laughs> Actually, there's looks like there's a couple of little holes in the left upper leg near the, about where the knee would be. There's a couple of holes on the actual target as well. A couple near the bullseye. Oh, yeah, I see him now. Well, they still need more training. <laughs> All right, where are... Oh, yeah, that's right. Torn cloth. A torn and tattered piece of clothing smeared... Or smeared... How do I get smeared from stained? Oh, well. 
with grass, mud, uh, with grass, mud, and blood. It smells faintly of berries. So I wonder if that was if that was from her. Walk up to her, smell her hair. You smell like berries. <laughs> Uh, do we want to take the ones out that are on the docks before we go in there? Oh, so we have respawn when we get back? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Plus, there's a lot to get down there if you want it. Let's see, here's a sack. Comberry, whatever that is. <gasps> There's a glowy on the boat. There's a glowy down here that's water skin that I'm getting. That you mentioned. It's the 36 lessons, seven number nine. Yep, yeah, the 36 lessons, sermon nine. Oh, this is by Vivek! Yeah. I never they're all, by, they're, they're all Vivek's. I never knew. I can't get off the flipping boat now. I was going to say, um, I never paid any attention to, to who, who writes them. I actually would kind of like to read something that, you know, that was done by Vivek. Uh -huh. Okay, so, oh, I guess go this back the way we came. Hello, are there any more people that want to die? No, not yet. I I think there are going to be a few past this door. I just heard someone's voice. Are they up here? Sure enough. Alright, but I just had to go see who it was, and there's two of them talking, so... The black snails. Yep. Coming out. One down. And two down. I just got outside the door. Well, you can come and see if there's anything you can loot because I didn't give me anything. Not even sure where to, I'm to your to left. Go. Come out, come out of the mine or whatever, and go to and go to your left. Out of the mine to the left. Oh, I see your little crown now. I don't know if there's anything left. I don't see anything. There'd be one one body here, oh, there's if there's maybe. anything, and there'd be another one up here. Nothing. Ooh, dragon's horn. Okay, well, there you go. I killed two uh two black snails and a dragon thorn grew. How about that? Apparently you killed a centipede as well. Hmm, Poor little I, thing's curled up. I didn't see it. Pinson. That's an odd name, but whatever. I was going to say, uh, a woman should never ask a man that. There is a patrolling one that comes pretty close. Shall I get their attention? Oh, I was going to get him with blast bones. <laughs> Boy, they got close, didn't they? <laughs> Well, when I came in, the soldier was literally just turning their back to me. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Oh no! What shall we do? Watch them Let's die. Explode them from the inside out. Watch them die where they stand. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, Men this Rundle. is for Hello, Men Rundle. There's our girl. She she's got a lot of the same markings and outfits as um what's her face? Something like Nathrandi or Nathrandiel or something like that. That that one weird wood elf in uh Rimen. You know who I'm talking about? 
potions, brews. <laughs> the one you really hate because she gets she went the end of her sentence, she gets oh, real squeaky. Yeah. 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 Nathrandy or something like Nathrandal or something along those lines. All right, relax. I'm here to help. Um, sorry about the in-face thing. Your face is really quiet. I don't know, but never mind. I'm glad you're here. I was just preparing to make my escape. Should be a lot easier now. Why are you here anyway? Did Grey Sky send you? Lane sent me. We think Savarok's trying to poison Telmora and then show her the malignant growth. I'll find your sample and put a stop to things here. Mirandus is hiding in here somewhere. If you deal with him, these brutes will scatter like roaches under a lantern. Now, I can make it back to Vos on my own. You give these bastards a good drubbing, find that toxin, and meet me back at Telmora. Goodbye. I have to give him a good drubbing. God, I hope I don't have to take my clothes off to do that. Especially since I don't know what a drubbing is, but I can I can kind of guess. I like these blue blue mushrooms. Uh -huh. Th those are pretty cool. <laughs> what? What are you cackling about now? I was just thinking if someone ever heard you saying that. <laughs> what? Without without seeing what you were talking about. Oh, the blue mushrooms? <laughs> yeah. No. I don't eat mushrooms. Well, not psychedelic ones anyways. Not illegal ones. Not saying that if they ever had those that were legal mushrooms, I would definitely try one just for the heck of it. Did she just grunt again? Had to have been. There's not another one around. Ooh. Alchemy bottles. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, whoops, eight, nine. Nine alchemy bottles. And a sack. I think that's the most alchemy bottles I have ever gotten in one spot. I got a lot as well. That was crazy. I didn't actually count mine. Well, I, I wanted to count how many I was actually going to get. Four. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, see, like, I just, I'm just i just looking. One of them says, cloud, cl like, cloudy damage health potion or something like that. So it sounds like it's a type of poison, maybe. Where are we supposed to go, anyways? Looks like this way. Is that a dead end? Yes. It is for him. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, a pyromancer. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this. More. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. <laughs> 16? Oh my god! That is insane! 16 I, alchemy bottles in one area. I got, I got 16 too. That is crazy! This um, blue glow here, is that just because of the lantern? I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Probably the gl know, lantern and... Check. It's probably the lantern and the, the mushroom. I think the mushroom is doing it. I think it's... it's it's got a yeah. See, it's it's got some bioluminescence to it. So I think we're supposed to go this way. Still, that wasn't. Oh, get their attention the hard way. Well, if it's any consolation to you, dead person, you made it closer to us than most of your friends do. <laughs> Usually they drop where we find them. 
I usually don't get like a, a foot closer. Oops. I didn't see the uh, archer. He didn't get very far. Let's see, anything here? Lemon. Yummy. Lemon and honey. He must have had a sore throat. I got better green. Apparently you don't have a sore throat. Go get him. Go get him. <laughs> he didn't go around a corner or anything, but still it was a long run. Man, he died way the I heck. I could not get light of sight. <laughs> that's, when, yeah, that's when you know you killed them far away when you can't keep line of sight because they're too far off. <laughs> oh, I see a... Ooh, wait. Hmm, alchemy bottles. Jeez. Yeah, there's alchemy bottles up here, though. Looks like I'm just getting water, but the heck, I don't care. Oh, there's a hindering poison three, which I don't care about. But she doesn't use poisons. Poisons are kind of a pain, though, to use. Well, no, they're not a pain to use. You can look them up in your inventory and just click and click use, and then it's automatic. But the only I thing... Get off to the slot. You can. You can, me, you can do that, too. The, the only drop... Holy cow, look at all these. The only drawback is you your weapon do, no longer ha uses its enchantment. Which could be the difference maker. Yeah, which is why I don't use poisons. I've got them a little bit, just because. I'm, I'm, whoa, jeez. I think I may have needed to start counting how many I got this time. Because this, I don't, this is what, isn't going to be 16. Uh -oh. Rude? Is somebody attacking him? Or is it... Uh, it's the ads. Oh. Because I want to make sure that nobody tries to take our kill. Now what? Another one? Uh -huh. Stay gone next time. Notice to all research assistants. All remaining flasks of the original toxin must be relocated to the storage chamber in the rear portion of the cave so as to keep them separate from Master Noranus' new formula. Please make a full accounting and report any irregularities to your direct supervisor. Pride and prosperity for House Halalu. I think House Halalu needs to have a little uh, visit from the Morag Tong. Or better yet, the Dark Brotherhood. Alright, you about ready to get him? I am ready. Alright, I'm going to hit him with Blast Bones first. And then I'm going to rush up there and drop my ultimate. You won't leave this cabin alive. Think so, huh, Big Mouth? He never even got anywhere. <laughs> Find a clue to the toxin's location. Got a dagger of flame, whoopty freaking do. Didn't we just do this? <laughs> now the note is no longer no longer shiny, but we have to go back to it. <laughs> yeah. Collect the sample. So let's look at the map. And can we go this way? I might be able to. Yeah, it looks like we can. <laughs> K 
Keep your weapons sharp and close. Not going to do you a damn bit of good if we're hitting you with magic. <laughs> it's like, don't bring a dagger to a magic fight. <laughs> That was actually kind of cool. I could tell he was going to swing on me. So I, you know, so I, so I defended myself. And just as his weapon made contact with this she this shield, this block shield, I yep. think your twilight used some lightning because there was a big kind of like a lightning type explosion. Oh no, that was me. Okay, well it was still cool whatever the heck it was. <laughs> a bit, but the timing was awesome. So the timing was absolutely awesome. Cause I mean the I mean the instant his his weapon made contact with my block is when that when that hit. So it was like it was a result of of him uh hitting that hitting that shield thing. I think that I don't think it's actually a shield, I think it's just there to show that you're blocking. Yeah. So he would have hit my uh, hit my staff, my staff, and that's what made it still really cool. Ooh, I had a temper, just a fraction of a second of a glitch. Oh, the game's a little bit behind now. Not by much. Looks like maybe about thirty seconds. Are you stream? Hmm. Your stream? Yeah, my stream. At least what the way I'm seeing it on my tablet. Most of a minute behind on desktop for me. Mm. Well, if you insist. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Yeah. <laughs> he may not have meant for us to burn him, but you know. You got to be real specific with people like us. You know, lots of times we just take things at face value. Ah, can't get to that basket in the back. Okay, it's, be somewhere I am. it's too late now. I was standing where I was standing when I got it. Hi. <laughs> some of these blue mushrooms. I want to get great big pots and I want to plant them and put them in my apartment. Don't ask me where. It doesn't matter. Well, sometimes they, they, they grow upside down, so maybe I can find a way to, like, you know, attach it to my ceiling. Maintenance probably won't appreciate it. I'll be like, hey, it's, I'm decorating. Now I have to go all the way over here and loot that for 12 gold. Anything down here of interest? Hey, look at that. A soldier. That's a way to ruin a good day. Just walk around a corner and all of a sudden you got things exploding on you. You're being electrified. You're being shot with things. And it's like, what the hell? My horoscope did not tell me about this. It's like, today you will be brutally killed. Light it. Whoa. That was weird. That whole area just lit up red. I don't know what the heck they were gonna do I'm gonna go peek down here this looks this little area looks a tiny bit suspicious but nope nothing all right Another cold chill. Hmm. Something interrupt just 
temporary. Oh, even Facebook is behind. Yeah, because I had something that said my stream was interrupted. Um, yeah, and you completely dropped from team before you came back out. Did I? Yeah. Hmm, that's weird. What did you just do? Try to loot the water skin and set off oh. my um, ultimate. Yeah, in Twitch, we're just leaving that area. So, Twitch and Facebook are pretty much caught up. I've got the Vardenfell load screen from us leaving the uh, that mine. So it's it's caught up a ways. Oh. That's always good. Yep. Yeah. Wait, Facebook is not. It's still. Oh yeah, we were just standing in the shadows. I couldn't see it because the Facebook screen is so much smaller because it's on my phone. Uh -huh. Oh. A couple of bad guys. Yeah. Oh, those bad guys up there. Okay. I was thinking we were going to get the bad guys down here again. Oh, here's another mountain flower if you want it. We can. Oh, down the dock? Yeah, we can go after yeah. them. Ooh, let's... Let me get him. My blast bones will get him. Bring him over if he makes it that far. Ooh, I don't know where this one came from. I pulled that one around. Ah. <laughs> one of those really good assassins. Go get him. <laughs> if you insist, I will provide you with lightning. Right. The poor Blast Bones, he just doesn't know what to do with himself when if the target is killed before he's fully summoned. Or before he has a chance to attack. He just runs over yeah. by me like, I don't know what to do now, boss. That's why it's, it would be nice if they could just, like, hang around. Yeah. I can understand why they don't. Let's see. Morning! Bad day for fishing, ain't it? <laughs> Not a single comment from you, Mary. Sorry, I was. There's uh, another mob up here as well. Oh, but we can't see him. He's an assassin and he's in stealth. <laughs> to the side. You have no idea how badly. Oh no! Don't don't tell me. Oh, that would have been awesome. That would have been awesome. I was thinking that'd be awesome if you could just climb through that, and I got it partially in there. I'm like, no, do not tell me I can. <laughs> it's like, nope, only a little ways. But this would be a great hiding spot, you know. Look at this. It, it would be a really good hiding spot. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> See how well you're hidden. Back, go back in there and just back in as far as it'll let you, and just, and just crouch down. Yeah, that's. Yeah, see, you're in there quite a ways. You're in there about a good. Five feet, five six feet, probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm easily entertained. I can't help it. But sometimes I find real neat things. Hey, here's a uh, runestone. I usually let you have them because I almost never use them. I, I know I have a whole ton. What is that over there? Oh, a fetcher. Well, not the fetcher fly. Not the centipede. Oh, those are just mushrooms. Okay, where are we? Where are we headed? Bring the socks and the socks and temple. Yep, that's it. The socks and temple. I can't even say uh, socks and temple. I don't want to even talk about orc metal, but I'll take it. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm just slightly dyslexic. Because I do this, I do that sometimes. I'll switch the first letters b uh, between two words, or I'll or I'll do it with numbers when I'm trying to like when I'm doing when I'm stalking and I'm trying to put it up and it tells me where it's at. I'll s switch numbers around, uh -huh. but I don't do it too often. So that's why I say I think it's just just got very very minor dyslexia. All right. Talk to Menwendel. All right, there she is. Let's talk to her. There you are. I gave Mistress Drapa some chokeweed bitters to slow the effect of the spores, but this is like binding a troll's hands with fishing twine. Did you bring the toxin sample I asked for? I can't brew an antidote without it. Now, she says, like, binding a troll's hands with fishing twine. You put enough fishing twine on there, that troll is not going to be able to break through it. Because fish, some fishing twine is really, really tough. And plus, you really wouldn't want to try to break it because it would probably cut through your skin. Yeah. But anyways, I have it right here. Perfect. I'll get to work on this right away. Oh, one other thing. Lane took off toward Ross with a handful of guardsmen. I think they mean to arrest that wild ass, Sabari. She might need your help. All right, I'll track her down. If you find that oaf, give him a good kick in the nether for me. Who for knows how long it's going to take me to clean up my nursery. Oh, believe me, if I could kick somebody in the nethers, I would. That is, that would be my primary attack. <laughs> I would, I would, cr I would try to be as stealthy as possible and sneak up behind him and kick him in the nethers. That would be hilarious to have a build like that. That that was your primary attack. Yeah. Talk to Lane. Savaric's gone. Damn that slippery bastard. He tossed his manse, the gathering house, the wolf. We turned the whole damn town upside down and nothing. They can't have just vanished. What did we miss? What about that shipping notice I found in the manse? Something about Selville Island. Of course, his black snail mercenaries have been resupplying there. That must be where he's headed. Where is this island? Selville Island is just east of the tower. If he manages to get away, I'll never forgive myself. It will take me too long to gather up all the town guards. I need you to go after him. Please, Sarah, make sure he doesn't board that ship. Okay. Uh, so how far do we have to go? Not far. Yeah. I'm just gonna run him over. Oh. <laughs> Didn't work. Oh well. He just turned around and said, "What?" Yeah, what? You're gonna think what? I got this captured. Yeah. Ooh, there's three of them in this group.
there was three in that group. Backpack. Wow. Yeah, I got getting it. Barrel? What's in the basket? Small game. Okay, I'm going to run up to him and drop my ultimate and then just hit, hit him with everything else. Little Bantam Guar, you better move a little bit quicker than that, buddy. Hey, Savara, got a present for you. <laughs> so say what were you attacking after him Scout. oh i was gonna say he i mean we just unloaded on him <laughs> yep. i almost feel sorry for the idiot <laughs> almost You, you you feel sorry for a little rat that I destroy and you're the one that usually runs around plucking wings off of uh, butterflies? Like that one? I saw that. Protons are intelligent creatures. Butterflies are intelligent. Go get your, your runestone. Snail Archer. Gonna kill me an Archer. <laughs> he reached back to do a backslash on me and just as he started the motion, he died. Yep. Do you want to kill an Archer? It doesn't have to be an archer. There's a soldier over there, I'll too. I'll go ahead and kill the soldier. <laughs> He's still... Is he... Oh, that's just the light. I thought he was still crackling in the water. I was going to say, yeah. I don't mess you up. <laughs> Look at the look at this uh, mud crab, this bigger one, the red, the, kind of the reddish one. You can have the highest one. I don't need it. He's a big one, and I will yeah. leave your little scavenger. We've got. You got bad guys to kill. And I heard a female's voice. I see her too. Go get her. <laughs> she ran away again! That was so fun. <laughs> And my skeleton just, or my blast bones just ran right after her. That was too funny. Aw, poor Shroom Beetle. I'm going for the Pyromancer. What's the other one? Just a soldier. Soldier. Alright, you ready? Set it ablaze! Set it ablaze! Dead and working on that one, and he's dead too. Here's a rune stone. Looks like that's it for the bad guys.
It's like, well, don't be too depressed that you can't kill anything, you psycho. <laughs> You're like, yeah. We're all gone. No more to kill. <laughs> all done for. Right. All right, tell more. I need a dwink. Oh, it's almost time to end. Wow, look who's up on their feet. A Twilight Matriarch. There we go. Lane Sodri. You're back. My mistress and I fared the worst. Is it over? Is Savaric slain? Yes, Savaric won't trouble the people of Voss any longer. What a relief. With Mistress Drop's approval, I'll send runners to nearby towns and let the people know it's safe to return. Thank you, my friend. Truly. Take this, and I believe my Mistress Drop would like a proper word as well. I still, I still like Lane's outfit. I told you about the one yeah. that exposed the Halali plot and struck down Savari. Let's talk to the Mistress Drotha. Let me get a better look at you. Hmm. Your eyes are wrong, but your palms seem clean enough. I have a task. If you succeed, you'll earn the favor of a Telvanni counselor and a treasure from my vault. Is this agreeable? It's like I just saved your ass, and you're, and I haven't earned your favor already. Damn. Maybe. What is it you want? In all my long years, the thought of death has rarely troubled me. But thanks to Savara, I've gained new perspective. My illness took me to the brink of the void, the tip of the scythe. Someday I may welcome death, but for now, steps must be taken. What kind of steps? I find that people lead much happier lives when they don't trouble themselves with details. Now, Vardenfell is littered with daybreak shrines. Seven of these shrines contain powerful magic stones. You must find these stones and bring them to me. All right, I'll keep an eye out for these stones. The task I've set before you won't be easy. These shrines lie near and far. Some are little more than piles of brickwork, while others extend deep underground. Even so, I'm confident you'll find what I'm looking for. The Stones of Cold Fire. What exactly are these stones of cold fire? So you're a scholar as well. I certainly wouldn't have predicted that. Before the tribunal showed up, we Dunmer worshipped the Daedra. They raised no small amount of havoc, but they also left us valuable gifts. Gifts like the stones. What do the stones do? Nothing until they rest side by side. If a mage manages to wake all seven, well, let's just say their powers of persuasion are put to the test. Aren't you worried about using Daedric relics? Of course not. Why should I be? The powers of Oblivion hold no great mysteries for mages like me, and House Telvanni has no time for folklore and childish superstition. What's the point of power left unclaimed? Do you have any plans for Voss now that Savarak is dead? Plans? No, of course not. I'll leave them to their business just as I always have. But the people seemed so anxious for you to return. I'm sure they did. You'd like an explanation, wouldn't you? Fine. You want to earn people's love. Here's the secret. Just leave them alone. Treat them like adults, even when they act like children. The rest takes care of itself. So that's it? You just leave them alone? Yes. Believe me, it's a rare and wonderful thing to live under the protection of a disinterested ruler. Self-determination. It'll be all the rage in a millennium or two, I guarantee it. Now, are we finished? I need those stones. <laughs> <laughs> she 
She seems pretty adamant that she needs those stones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wonder if... Whoops, wrong button. I don't know if it is... I don't know where they are. Let's see. I'm, let's step outside. Maybe I can see. Because I... I Like way shrines. Grave, grave marking. Grave marker robins that have been collected from the library. I don't know, let's see. I'm Well, I see one that says acquire stone from, from Rama Milk. Road? I see Rama Milk. Um What's that? A stone at Kush Kushtoshpi? So yeah, there are Yeah, that's um Yeah. So yeah, they are they are there. They they just they've got markers all over the place. Wow. That's a really excellent way to be able to find new areas uh to quest. Yeah. That is that is sticking them in all all different areas that is not that's nice that's very nice um, but hmm? that's the place where um, you were the other day and he, and he said it wasn't like it was discovered or anything mm, right well I think it's it's 11 o'clock this has been a good three hours yeah. I think I'm I think this is a good place to call it but I'm gonna before I actually, I mean, I'll, I'll log out, but before I actually shut the stream down, I'm going to make sure that uh, what I see on Twitch and Facebook gets caught up. Because right now they're still talking to Mistress Dratha. So when I just sit there with that ending map, no sound, it'll probably be sitting there for a couple of minutes. But that's okay. Uh, so I'm going to get us logged out. And then if you want, Mary, we can... Uh, we can still play, you know, on a, on our other, you know, on other characters. Yeah. If you feel like Let's it. Get myself some dinner. Right. And then I'll be ready. Yeah. So search the one All right. Alrighty then. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get get logged out. Oh wait, I need to collect her mail. I keep forgetting about that because I've got those uh, hirelings, and they have stuff for you every twenty four hours. Free crafting supplies. All right, logging out. Um, no, not for me. Not on my end. We're on my end. We're looking at the map to see where they're at. So, oh no, I oh, haven't even left. I tried looking at the map. So the one that's on Twitch, we're just getting ready to leave. Uh, her place. And Facebook looks like it might be might be a little bit closer. Oh well, like I said, I'll just I'll just wait for it to uh, catch up before I completely shut uh, shut it down. Okay, get all right. So I'll just leave it. No, I haven't said bye. <laughs> I haven't said bye yet. I haven't gone to the to the close screen yet. I w I'm on my character screen. Okay. Um, no, but no, I'm going to say bye because I'm going to go and get myself some food. All right, Mary. Um, go. Bottle of pop because my last one's been empty for a while. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, go get yourself something to something to eat, and we'll uh, catch back on here in just a handful of minutes. Yeah. All righty. Well. well, thank you for. Bye, yeah, th thank you for being being in the stream, Mary. My pleasure. <laughs> and I'll talk to you in a little bit. Yep. <laughs> Alrighty. All right, folks. Well, that's going to do it for today's stream. Uh, next one, provided obviously nothing comes up, will be tomorrow, same time from. But it'll only be two hours, so it'll be from eight to ten. Um, please join me. Uh, more than likely, Mary will not be popping. Well, no, she won't be because it'll only be from eight to ten. Well. Unless she gets off early again. I wasn't expecting to see her until actually about this time today. So it was great to see her. Um, 
anyways, um, take care, everyone, and see you tomorrow uh, for the next stream. Take care, everyone. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>